A beach town excursion is a summertime must, even if time is tight. Dennis benefits from being centrally located on the Cape, just an hour and a half or 78 miles from Boston. Beaches are a major draw in Dennis. There are 18 of them. Corporation Beach is a local favorite, as is Harborview Beach. Visitors flock to the Sisuit Harbor Cafe for its unbeatable setting. Meanwhile, Route 6A is flush with shops, restaurants, and inns. You are centrally located to go everywhere. You can go to Hyannis, take the ferry to Martha's Vineyard, to Nantucket. You can stay here, go to Provincetown. Sylvia and Phil Baxter live in this house, built in 1735. Out back are guest buildings with 21 rooms that make up the Sisuit Harbor House. The Baxters bought the inn in 2019, after years living on the West Coast. We were in LA, missing my daughter that was accepted to Phillips Exeter Academy at 14 years old. And me being Hispanic, it's just like, a, no, no, your kid has to be with you all the time. So I was just thinking a way to be closer. I just sit on my computer and start looking for options for businesses. The Baxters both have long careers in the hospitality industry. Phil opened resorts and managed large hotels, but always dreamed of owning and running an inn on the Cape. I grew up in a hospitality property probably eight miles from here. It became, you know, this sort of family thing and I started to think about, uh, hey, I want to do the same thing someday. Almost like a tribute to my parents, that nostalgic Cape Cod property. Dennis is also home to the 22-acre Cape Cod Center for the Arts. This campus features the Cape Cod Museum of Art and the Cape Cinema which boasts a 1930s mural by painter and printmaker Rockwell Kent. Cape Cinema also had the first showing of the 1939 classic, The Wizard of Oz, says Nora Carey. It premiered here before it premiered on Holly in Hollywood. Wow. Yeah. At the time, actress Margaret Hamilton, the Wicked Witch of the West, was performing here at the Cape Playhouse. The Playhouse is a Cape Cod treasure, the longest running professional summer theater in the nation. Carrie is executive director. We wouldn't survive 100 years, nearly 100 years, if the community wasn't behind us. When does theater come to Dennis in this place? In 1927, precisely on July 4th. Ever since, the Cape Playhouse has attracted some of theater's very best. We have had everybody here from Henry Fonda, Jane Fonda has Betty been Davis. here, Betty Davis, Shirley Booth. Guest artistic director, Hunter Foster. The moniker for is, was called Where Broadway Goes to Summer. A lot of Broadway performers love coming up here for many reasons, because of the history, obviously, because people love the summer stock. I mean, I, as, as an actor, I was an actor for a long time. I was doing producers on Broadway, and I, I put it in my contract that I could get out to come do a show at the Cape Playhouse. It's a place that's, that's like no other. And summer is busy. It's all for Jersey Boys. And you do everything here? Everything, every show. And it's our biggest set of the season because it's Jersey Boys that we're going from Amos Behaven, Sense and Sensibility, and now Jersey Boys. So, and then we got three more after that. Is there a taste you're trying to cater to? What do you try to provide as an artistic experience for people to see? We want to do something that's fun, that uh, sort of continues the spirit of what a vacation is. You can come and actually spend a summer day, you know, having a cocktail on the patio or strolling the grounds and then going to see theater. You can't get that in your living room at home. <laughs> On Route 6A, a different kind of show goes on at Eldred's auction. One of the great joys of our business is we never know what's coming in. Josh Eldred is president and CEO of Eldred's. His sister, Sarah Eldred Taylor, is vice president. So my grandfather established in 1947 after World War II, and we've been in the same building ever since. We're New England's oldest antiques and fine art auction house. Here, why don't you grab that one? Eldred's specializes in New England art and furniture, as well as Asian art and maritime art. Everything you see is consigned. We don't own anything we sell. We get things from states from local areas as far as all over the country, even internationally. We sell about 15,000 objects a year and across about 25 auctions. This was made by a Provincetown artist named Peter Hunt. And Peter Hunt would use reclaimed furniture and he would paint these sort of Pennsylvania Dutch meets Cape Cod influence designed. 
The painting behind this is another local artist named Ralph Cahoon. He was uh, what we consider a folk artist. He was specialized in these wonderful, whimsical Cape Cod scenes. And this one is a really fine example of his. We believe this should bring probably between 50 and 70,000. But don't be intimidated by the prices of some items, says Eldred. The average antique sells for a few hundred dollars to a few thousand. It's when you get involved in this exceptionally rare and unique that you get into the real large figures. But the average person really can buy and decorate and live with antiques. Also on Route 6A, a whimsical gallery in the woods.